Hello guys, so this is my second attempt to record the video that I promised uh, to do. And what I want to do is to derive the formula for the fair swap price. Okay. So just to remind you, okay, we have two parties, the payer that pays the swap, the constant coupon, and the receiver that pays LIBOR, okay? So say we have this kind of, uh, this, uh, you know, time horizon and we have our uh, swap, swap and here are my discount rates for the different point in time, okay? Now I'm going to use the, the discrete version of the you know of uh, of the model so uh, so what i want to do i want to find c such that you know the market value of the leg of the libor leg equals to the market value of the fixed leg so what is the market value of the fixed leg because i'm paying c i'm paying a constant swap in each point in time then it means that i'm going to have basically uh, like this to to have the market value right because you know, uh, at point I, my market, my present value is going to be C times DFI, and I just sum it. So this is going to be present value of the fixed leg. Now, what is much more interesting is to understand what happens with the fixed uh, value, with the LIBOR leg. So how much I'm paying for my LIBOR? How much I'm paying for my LIBOR? So if I have this, these are my points, okay? What I'm doing at this point, for example, I'm, you know, I'm going to pay, okay, uh, the forward rate, right? I'm going to pay the forward rate, which is coming from this point, okay? So overall, whatever I'm going to pay here is going to be DFI plus one, uh, DFI, divide by DFI plus one, minus one, and here I'm going to multiply, because I'm paying here, I'm going to multiply by DFI plus one. So what I'm getting here is as follows. I'm getting DFI minus DFI plus one. This is a present value of my payment, and why this formula is correct? Because remember, okay, that my forward is uh, defined by the following equation. It is going to be one plus y, okay? So the rate that I'm going to get, okay, is basically the discount factor at this point divided by the discount factor at this point here, okay? Good, so now we are going to sum them. So we start with DF1, we start with one minus DF1, plus DF1 minus DF2, plus yada, 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 DFN minus one, minus DFN, okay? And you can see that those two, that all these guys are canceling. Okay, so we are going to get the following equation. We're going to get C times the sum of the discount factors equals to one minus DFN. And here we are getting the formulas that I gave you in the book, which is one minus DFN divided by the sum of, F, of DFI. Okay, so that's going to be the fair value of the swap. So what uh, what can we say about this model? So first of all, I'm looking on the con on the, I'm not looking on the continuous version. I'm looking here on the discrete version. Okay. And the second thing that we need to understand that you guys need to understand, and I'll give you a little bit on the homework on that, that the forward rate implied forward rate. is exactly going to be what I gave you here. It is going to be DFI divided by DFI plus one, 
minus 1. Okay? So that's it, and hopefully that you enjoy this video. And that's it.